Uh, they want you to sketch the slope field uh, through the 12 points indicated. Um, and between negative 1 and 1, sketch the solution curve that passes through the point 0, negative 1. Okay, so remember, uh, slope fields are easy. All you have to do is plug in the x and plug in the y. So notice when x is negative 1, every single time, it doesn't matter what your y value is, you're going to get 0 divided by some number. So that means the slopes at negative 1, all those are 0. You don't have to work all those out. Okay? You do not need to work all those out. Save yourself some time. Um, then when x is 0, okay, when x is 0, you get 0 plus 1 over y. So that's going to be 1 half for the point zero two. One half, make sure that that slope is less than a slope of 1. It should be a much shallower line. Okay? Um, more shallow. Did I say shallower? Ugh. That's a bad word. Okay. Um, at 1, 1, that has a slope of 1, so it should definitely look um, more steep. Okay? But it should be that slope of 1. Uh, you don't have to do it at 0, 0. It's undefined, actually, uh, when the y value is 0. At negative 1, you get 1 over negative 1, so that's a slope of negative 1. And at negative 2, then that would be negative 1 half. So again, just make sure that there's some differentiation between a slope of 1 and a slope of 1 half. Okay, they're not going to get to, they're not going to like get a, a ruler and a protractor and measure the degrees. Okay, but there should just be a distinct difference there. <clears throat> Over here, when x is 1, every single time the numerator is going to be 2, you just put it over whatever the y value is. So we have a slope of 1 here. Um, at 1, it's going to be a slope of 2, so it should be steeper. Okay, make sure it doesn't look vertical, but make sure that it's steep. And I just did what I told y'all not to do. Don't go over the line again. Just make a single line. At negative 1, that would be negative 2. And <clears throat> at negative 2, that would be negative 1. So that's the first point that they want. Uh, then they say sketch the solution curve that passes through the point 0, negative 1. Okay, 0, negative 1. Oh, I know why they have purple. Because <clears throat> it says to go from negative 1 not including negative 1. So that's why the answer key has an open circle right there. Um, so if the solution curve passes through the point 0, negative 1, well, that's a slope of negative 1, and at 1, Negative 2 is a slope of negative 1. So really, that's just a straight line. And <clears throat> technically, you have open circles on the ends because it says between negative 1 and 1, not including the endpoints. I honestly don't know how nitpicky they would be about that. <clears throat> um, and technically, it the answer key shows that it continues, but it, it's supposed to stop at 1. Stop okay. All right. Uh, part B. While uh, while the slope field in Part A is drawn at only twelve points, it is defined at every point in the x y plane for which y does not equal zero. Describe all points in the x y plane y not equal to zero for which the derivative equals negative one. So under what conditions? did um, the derivative equal negative 1? Well, mathematically, what you should do, since dy over dx is equal to 1, set dy over dx equal to 1. dy over dx was x plus 1 over y. Set it equal to negative 1. Um, multiply both sides by y. So that says x plus 1 is equal to negative y. Um, uh, 
And I mean, they solved it for positive y, so they moved the negative over. So y equals negative x minus 1. <coughs> um, so they wrote it in words. dy over dx is equal to negative 1 uh, for all xy when y is equal to negative x minus 1 and y is not equal to 0. It wants all points. Are you, did you just list the specific points from the previous one? Yeah, it wants all points. <clears throat> so anytime it says all, then you need to express it in terms of the variables. Okay. Are we good with C? Are we getting better at those particular solutions? Yes? Okay. Awesome.